Hey guys, what's going on? This is Ishix. I wanted to show you guys just a quick basic guide on how I have my TSM set up to be running uh, Enchanting. So first things first, you're going to want to head over to your Professions tab, click on Enchanting, and the first time you open this on the character, it should ask you, would you like TSM to create some subgroups for your profession of Enchanting? So pretty much you say yes, and then uh, you head over to slash TSM. Um, I'm running version 2.9.3, so just go ahead and click on the Groups tab. And it's basically going to look like this when you first get in. It's going to say groups. So you just hit the plus sign until you open up all your subcategories. Um, so it would be professions, enchanting, and then you'll have both crafts and materials. So crafts is basically everything you can make on your character. So each different pattern you've learned and everything you can make is going to be in this list here on the right. And then materials is pretty much just all the um, materials you're going to need to craft the above crafts if that makes any sense so you're going to need these to make these if that makes sense so anyways we head over to crafts again and then we're going to head to management so you're going to have to create a new subgroup personally i name mine just scrolls just to keep it easy so you type in scrolls and then you type or hit uh, okay and then it should give you another drop down menu here and it should say scrolls so pretty much what's on the left is the stuff you can still make um i've only added the mr pandaria stuff on the left now, to get this list going, you can either do it manually and find each one or which one you want to do. Easy way to do it, hit import, and this list here I'm going to be pasting in the description box. So you just copy and paste all this and paste it into the import string. And make sure move already grouped items is checked or it won't work. So just type in the import string. It'll be a whole bunch of numbers uh, looking like this, something like that. So go ahead and paste that in and it should say in the chat box successfully imported. I think it's like 20 something items. Uh, into scrolls and then so your item should be up here on the right after that So this is basically what you're going to be crafting So this is all the mr. Pandaria stuff now to set it up to actually craft and sell the stuff you have to hit operations So we'll hit that Under auctioning you're going to want to hit override module operations And then it should say like no operation or something like that it should be blank. You're going to want to hit add additional operation So I'll just pretty much copy my settings like I said you guys can tweak them if you want But this is a good baseline so under general don't uh, click match stack size just because you're going to be selling these in ones anyways. It doesn't matter. Ignore, ignore low duration auctions. Just set it to none. Post. Personally, I post for 12 hours just because my server is really full. If you're on a dead server, go ahead for the 24 or the 48. It's totally up to you. Post cap 3. So there's only going to be 3 of each item on the auction house at a time. Stack size 1, obviously, um, for the enchants. Keep quantity. I personally don't keep any because I like to keep open bag space. I don't like stuff sitting around in my bags or my bank. So mine's zero. Bid percent, uh, I think the default's 95. I keep mine about that, 94%. Uh, that just sets the bid value and all that. So if the lower it is, um, the better chance you have of being on the top of the, the uh, results. But if you go too low, people are going to start bidding on it and you're just going to lose gold. So just keep it around either about 90 to 95%. Undercut amount, one copper. You don't need to do anything higher than that. One copper is more than enough. And then the posting price. This is the part you guys can tweak if you want. Minimum price is 105% crafting. So that's basically, I'm going to make 5% gold on top of what it cost me to craft. So if it cost me 100 gold to craft it, it's going to sell for 105 gold minimum. Um, maximum price, I did 1,000 gold. I mean, not much enchants are worth over 1,000 unless you're doing the weapons. Uh, in which case, you can set it higher. Personally, I'm not doing the weapons. I don't have the pattern, so I keep mine lower. Normal price, 150% crafting. So you're posting it for 150% of what it costs you to craft, if that makes sense. Um, and then when below minimum, you're just going to post it at your minimum. I personally do this just because, of, like I said, I don't want stuff in my bag. But you can change it to not post or post at normal. You can choose to do pretty much whatever you want. And then uh, when above the maximum price, I post at normal. Um... You can post it at your max or you can do whatever you want, but honestly, if you post it at your normal, you're going to get it sold quicker and you're not going to have to sit on it for, you know, days and days. So that's basically how I do it. Go to the cancel tab, cancel undercut auctions, check that, cancel the repost higher, make sure that's checked as well. Keep posted, I mine zero, and then repost higher threshold is one gold. Reset scan, don't worry about it. Relationships, don't worry about it. And management, just you can name your operation if you want. And that's pretty much it. So we head back to the groups tab. Uh, back to the scrolls. 
back to operations again and you click on override module operation this one's under crafting so that's not the auctioning one that's under crafting um, click add new operation I'll show you guys what to do with this one here um, so under general you want to do restock quantity settings my personal minimum is one so I always have at least one enchant posted on the auction house at a time and then but the maximum is two so I always have two available so if one sells you always got another one right behind it just to sell right after so you don't have any downtime and there's nobody else that can take your sales away from you so if you got at least one uh, it's pretty helpful but if you are just starting out on this you know you can keep it lower if you don't trust it or whatever you want but I'll tell you guys right now you're gonna make tons of gold with this uh, set minimum profit mine set to 25 gold or 25% of the crafting value um, so it's not going to craft it unless you're going to make at least 25 gold if that that, that makes pretty good sense uh, price settings I don't check that at all relationships don't need it management don't need it unless you're going to rename your operation and that's pretty much the whole setup guys um, so I'll pretty much show you how it works now uh, you head back into your enchanting um, you hit TSM groups and then you're going to select it all so just select all groups and then restock selected and then press show queue. Now this is gonna show you what's worth making. So as you can see, there's tons here. This is actually showing a lot of the old school stuff that I have set up, but personally, you guys will only have the mob stuff set up. That's what I set you guys up for. But anyways, it'll show you pretty much what's worth making. So you click on this and you can see Enchant Gloves Mighty Strength. It's saying if I craft this, I'll make a thousand gold profit. Um, that's pretty high. I, I don't know if it's gonna sell that high, but that's what it's going for currently on the auction house. Now keep in mind, this all this, um, these prices and all that aren't going to pop up unless you guys do an auction house scan. So I'll show you guys pretty much what to do quickly on how to do an auction house scan. It's very simple and it only takes like maybe 35 seconds. Um, so you talk to the auctioneer guy, head over to auction DB and just hit. Uh, I will make first of all, make sure select all groups is all and they're all highlighted and then do a run get all scan. Like I said, it takes about 30 seconds and it should scan everything, including materials and the scrolls themselves so you know you have very accurate pricing before you start crafting stuff always run a scan just so you know what you're going to be making and you know it's accurate so after everything's been done here it does show you how much profit you're going to make estimated cost it's estimating all the stuff including my inscription because it doesn't filter that out but for all my enchants and my inscription it's saying it's going to cost me about 9,900 gold and the way of profits i'm going to make about 21,000 gold for this so that's a pretty good setup guys it's really basic but uh you know it's pretty helpful and honestly if you're just getting started that'll make you a lot of gold pretty easy to do and as long as you guys you know know how to sell it and all that it's pretty simple so anyways that's about it guys hopefully this guy wasn't too long and you follow me through it if you guys got any questions you can post them in the comment section i'll try to get back to you as soon as i can and uh, if this guy helps you guys out drop a comment and a like all right thanks guys peace